<laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, so he was saying that I don't, I think from my understanding of this, um, he's saying that the character leak is not a real thing. The characters that were the roster leak, sorry, the roster leak wasn't a real thing, but it might have been the character leak that might not have been. So that's all it is, because I highly doubt they have a build that has that many characters in. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know, to be honest. Mm. Oh, wait, it's an what? 18 minute wait. Well, I guess now's a good time to go watch all those League of Legends videos that I didn't watch. <laughs> Eight, 18 minutes. 18 minutes. We are 20 minutes in. So this is the How to Play Project mm -hmm. L. Right, I guess you're going to join me in this reaction video. <laughs> <laughs> this four minute reaction video. <laughs> Um, oh my god, you can press you can press a button, let's do it. <laughs> I can press a button. Let's go. Right. Uh I'll put it in um FGC, so if you do want to watch it, you're more than welcome to. But just so that I have ready for tomorrow. And I'll watch the Yasuo trailer as well. Hey, Draggles here. In case you missed it, we just announced duo play for Project L. So go watch that video. First. I do like the UI. The, the UI looks really cool. Played by the dev team. On the first team, we have Pat the Flip. A fighting game legend and teacher extraordinaire. And Caroline, a game designer leading the efforts on Alawi. On the other team, we have Maxine, a.k.a. Max, and Dan, a.k.a. Dread. When these two duo, they're collectively known as Maximum Dread. Cheer them all on I, and I, check I, it I, out. I get it. I mean, Orb is always going to be a safer one. Okay, okay. So just use that unless you're doing a, a, like a long ass combo. Okay, okay. All right, good luck. Have fun. I'm looking at the art style more than anything else because it reminds me of an indie game. I think you know which one I'm talking about, Pia Valkyrie. The, you know the indie game that had like the weird cogwheel character that can throw his, they throw his projectiles? Oh, yeah. That's what the art style reminds me of. Oh my god, I think it's I haven't gotten a chance to play it with my health. Alright, you gotta stick around a little longer. Time for the comeback of the century. <laughs> I don't have it. I'm, I'm gonna keep save so soon. Oh no! Oh, oh. nicely done. Come back of the century thing. Awesome. <laughs> Chum. Yeah, 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 I saw it, I saw it. Oh, oh it didn't hit. Oh, now I want nice to Nice version. Oh, okay. Alright, get it? See, I keep, keep thinking that the Ari color scheme is the Morgan color, color scheme. <laughs> it really does not Oh, no. Nice. I just got it back up. Honestly, I was ready. But tag me, tag me. They're also not using the default colors, which is surprising. It does feel like a cross between Street Fighter and Marvel. Why does Darius sound so gruff? Is he always that gruff? Well, I got the Oh, Oh, good jump. Oh, excellent. I couldn't tell who won and lost there. Oh, 
I'm trying to figure out like how oh, each character. Oh, my gameplay died. <laughs> my gameplay died. What happened? Oh, good. I guarantee you, Alex Lee will come on stage. <laughs> I guarantee you, Alex Lee will come on stage. Definitely, yeah. yeah, it's a bit of a difficult one to understand what the hell I'm looking at because I haven't, I don't know enough about their League of Legends counterparts. I, I, I don't know any, I, I, don't, I don't even re remember anything about that, about League, but, 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 but like out of context, to, to me it looks like DNF Duel, but 2v2. It feels like TNF duel, but DNF duel is way faster. That's the thing. Um, yeah. All right. So there was one more video to watch. Don't we're not going to show SF. It's not out yet. It's hey not everyone. on yet. It's our favorite time of year. So we thought we'd check in and let. Uh, am I waiting up for nothing first? I, they are showing stuff, but uh, if they do, they'll show it before the top six, so you don't have to wait too long. I'm just watching all the other um, stuff first. Uh, what else was there? There's the Yasuo video. So I'm supposed to watch this one. I'm supposed to watch this one, this one, this one, and then this one. So we're watching this one next. The Yasuo trailer. Oh. Come again. Hang on, let me, let me pause that. Uh, I, you okay? Are you down with Queez? <laughs> are you in the voice chat? Oh, 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 oh no, I was uh, reading Go With Your Dreams. Okay, let, let me try this again. Let me try this again. Thank you. I do like the backgrounds. The backgrounds look really nice. This is the same one as they showed in the original trailer. Go with the wind. Sword go bear. That's off the ground. It looks cool. Like it's the Unforgiven. Hey everyone, Alex here from the Champs team. We want to share an overview of our Evo roster, some of which you've seen in previous updates. And you just saw an exciting new addition to Project L's champion. That's also a Dreamcast Yasuo, arcade. Unforgiven. Yasuo is okay, a master so swordsman who manipulates the wind with his blade. On top of that, he can cancel in and out of a versatile stance, giving him tools for every situation. He can outplay with mix-ups, he can go to the air for really technical combos, play defense with his wind wall, or honestly just win neutral with huge normals. And you can come check him out today at EVO. My for the rest of the roster, we have three more champions available to play. We have Darius, the Hand of Noxus. Noxus is Runeterra's brutal expansionist empire. As a ruthless ah, general, okay. Darius hits like a truck. He owns the mid-range, and he's relentless on offense, too. Once he wounds his opponent, they'll take huge chip damage from everything. And he can reset over and over to keep the pressure coming. He can reset? Then there's Echo, the boy who shattered time. A punk genius with the power to rewind time. With Echo's chrono strikes, you can go in, then call for a do-over. He's tough to whip punish and even tougher to block correctly. And if he's tired of staying in your face, he can zone at mid-range with a timely projectile. Finally, there's Ari, the nine-tailed fox, a mage who can channel the magic of the spirit realm. 
Ari is a rushdown terror who controls the air and attacks from all angles. She has a unique resource, Foxfire, which she can blast to extend her pressure, giving her high lows and left rights for days. With meter, things get really open-ended. I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Also, it's probably because it's th almost 3 o'clock in the morning. Each champion has their own unique playstyle and identity, and when teamed up, they can pull off some pretty wild sequences. We're excited to see what you'll come up with. If you're at EVO and you want to try our champs for yourself, we'll have a full guide on how to actually play Project L coming really soon. Thanks, everyone. See you there. Oh, that's cool. So I guess that's only there when it's um only there when it's uh, when it's going to guarantee death. Okay. We have 7 minutes left. We have 6 minutes to watch a video. Got one more, one more. Come on, guys. Okay, so this is how, so this is how we watch the project L. We we watched we now know how to we watched project L. Now we need to know how to play project L. So that took too long for me to say, didn't it? Um, get rid of a few things. Uh, get rid of this. I think that's everything. Yeah, and then set it to that one. <laughs> that took me too long. Right, five, four, three, two, one. How to play Project Eru? As many of you are warming up for pools, I wanted to take a moment to give you all the info you'll need about Project L. It's available all day today and tomorrow on the show floor. What you'll be playing is a demo of Project L that we put together just for Evo. Because we're playing an in-development version of the game, we'll provide the controllers and the sticks. But in the future, we'll obviously support all kinds of devices. And we want your feedback. Everyone on the team is excited to put the game in front of the FGC, so let us know what you think. For now, though, let's dive in on how to play. Hello, everyone. Caroline here. I'm a game designer on the team. Oh, sorry. I should let's probably right full screen it. it. We'll start with the basics. Project L has light, medium, and heavy normal attacks. San standard. Is there a launcher? Here are some basic combos. So it's it's Marvel right now. You can launch your opponent with down forward and heavy to continue your combos in the air. Each champ also has a range of special moves tied to the S1 and S2 buttons. But what's okay. What's the traditional control in this setup? I just wish I knew. You've also got access to two different level one Wait, ultimates for finishing three. combos. Yes. These use one bar of your ultimate meter. Press down down and S1 or down down and S2. And try down down S1 and S2 together for your champ's strongest cinematic level 2 ultimate. Okay. At least it's simple to do. How do you defend? Project L has quite a few defensive options. Like you'd expect, holding back or down back blocks. But if you want to get them off you. Try push block. Oh, we at least got push blocks. Or a retreating guard. Oh, so you can't. There's defensive materials in here. You can parry high or low attacks for the cost of one bar of meter. A well timed parry creates a shockwave that leaves your opponent wide open to attack and refunds the meter cost. But mistiming one leaves you vulnerable to punishment. Is your opponent jumping at you or over you a lot? All champions also have access to an anti-air attack. Try holding down and pressing heavy when your opponent is crowding your airspace. And if you're in a really bad spot, send in your assist champ with a well-timed dynamic save. Even if they're already KO'd, your off-screen partner will still swoop in to help you break up combos. Oh, that makes things... At least that You'll gives you that worry. save a couple of times match. And it can be countered if you're not careful. <laughs> Speaking of teammates, 
Remember, you can play Project L solo or with a friend on your team. It looks team. like it's playing on PlayStation There are plenty of options for two champs to work together, and pretty much every tag and assist mechanic is tied to the team button. Check it out. So every champion has two assist actions, used by hitting team left or team right. When you're playing solo, both inputs are controlled by you. But if you're playing with a friend, assists are controlled by your teammate off screen. For charged assist, it's a similar deal. Hold the team button down for the assist champion to come out and release it for their move. When you want to quickly swap assist and point champions, hold down the team button. Okay. If you want to get him in even faster, just press the team button while they're already on screen. The team button can also be used for a launching attack that queues up your teammate for an alley oop air combo. Okay, here's a fun one. When you get KO'd before your ally and they're low on health, you can still impact the match with a super powerful off screen move. We're calling this Last Stand, and it's a way to claw your way back from early losses. Oh, okay. Lastly, let's talk about the fuse system. Fuses are powerful synergy options that change up your dual. So this is the equivalent of the gem system. For example, the 2x assist fuse allows your team to throw out two assists back to back instead of one. Another uh. fuse option is double down, which lets you and your duo link ultimates together. So during any level one alt, your teammate can also alt with you one after another to deal massive damage. I'd probably go with the double all because it would guarantee the damage. Are low on health. They'll get a damage bonus and access to a special dash cancel. But if you prefer things a bit more dynamic, freestyle fuse allows teams to handshake tag multiple times within one sequence. Oh, that's a good one. I can see a lot of people using that one instead. Because it doesn't deny your your levels. I know this seems like a lot, but really, you'll pick up most of this as you play. So don't worry too much about the details. Get out there, press some buttons, and tell us what you think. Here's a controller diagram for y'all. So ah. I now on an easy reference. We can't wait to see what you do this weekend with Project L, which, just to confirm, is not our final name. We'll share that a bit later. I feel like it's gonna be called Champions. Meet y'all, run some sets, and get your feedback. We'll see you soon. Okay. So, finally, I finally caught up on all the Project L stuff. Jeez. But yeah, it looks it looks really good at the very least. It just looks simple enough. Um, I think probably most people would want to tie. Uh, if they're playing arcade stick, to the button on the far left or the bottom button only. So if they're going to play paw style or plinking. But I don't know how they would change it if they're playing with a the controller. I think I'd probably want to put all the things on the left hand side, which is more similar to Marvel. Or maybe tying one of the team buttons to the A button. Um, so that it's so you have like um, light, medium, heavy, but it's the two punch buttons and the right shoulder button. But I don't know if that's faster or slower per se, because my hand normally works better as light, medium, heavy, just because my muscle memory works that way. Um, so that's probably the thing I would do um, straight away. In either case, um, I'm looking forward to it. I hope they do a more open.